How is this even the same country? Good morning. We are high up in the Andes, still in Ecuador, believe it or not, and it is freaking freezing. We are just starting to get a little bit organized this morning because we're about to go on a hike that we've heard is very nice. And this is what the view looks like just outside. So we're sleeping in the parking lot of a restaurant. And unfortunately, this spotless clean doggo, I don't think it's going to last long. He's currently sitting in the mud. Good job, oh. Bucky. No! Now he's lying down in the mud. Of the day. So I think this might just be the beginning of what we're gonna start getting used to as we travel south through Peru and Bolivia and into Chile and a lot of mountains. A lot of mountains is gonna get a bit cooler. So maybe we'll have to whip out Mr. Buddy or here that we had in Canada. I don't think we've ever shown you that actually. When we built the van. Didn't think we'd be in South America, let alone in the Andes Mountains. <laughs> Didn't realize we were going as far as Mexico. And to save on dishes, seeing how we don't have any water, hot oatmeal straight from the bowl. Good work. <laughs> I made Max retake that scene because the first time he said, Thanks, love. Aki, <laughs> wrong end, buddy. Ak, <laughs> why'd you have to get some muddy? <laughs> mm, goodbye, clean floors. Goodbye, clean dog. So, the rain stopped, and I can see a little patch of blue over there. And I think we are just going to go for it because otherwise we could be waiting all day, and we don't have all day. Oki looks like he might just be king to stay and play. I think this guy's actually a good match for Oki. Yeah. He's trying to hump him just as much. I'd take himself for a swim and then touch the water. I was like, nah, if that's too cold. <laughs> Five minutes into the hike. <laughs> yep, he's in. All right, it's getting a little chilly. I think it's time for lunch and a hot cup of cocoa. Yeah, I think Prado might have some good cocoa down there. Hopefully. So kind of the agreement with parking here for free as per the iOverlander app is that you consume something from the restaurant you not gonna laugh out the waffles, really. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Just in case you wanted to find this place, we're on the edge of El Cajas National Park. And on our trusty Eye Overlander app, it's called Rancho Honos Prado. And there's quite a few good reviews on this one. Oki started his cleaning process. Hi Typical llamas! Llamas on the side of the road. Or alpacas. I don't know how to tell the difference. Hola. So we've just pulled over for a quick little pit stop to make some lunch as well as wait out the rain. Yeah, it's turned into the misty mountains up there. Yeah. And so in the meantime, I'm going to make these wraps up. We made the same yesterday, so they're pretty basic, but hummus that I made yesterday, avocado, tomato, cucumber, mustard, hot sauce, and that's it. Yum, yum. Off to Cuenca? Si. Vamos. Clarity, the calm. 
Despite being awful muddy, Hockey seems to still have found his way up onto the couch. Okay, we are entering the outskirts of Cuenca and the sun is shining. Time to put away all of our jackets <coughs> and get up something nice and spring-like temperature, huh? City chic. Oh, hyper-focus my attention on you, baby. A selfish new dimension in my mind. You're exotic like a diamond. I can't. Shake you. So we're out to explore the old part of the city, which I think is probably also the most touristy part, but it's also considered very beautiful. And that park we got was seven dollars for 24 hours, has Wi-Fi, toilets, and it's a 10-minute walk in Toll Town. One thing I'm already really liking about it is the green space they've incorporated throughout the city. And check out this. <laughs> Thanks, Ark. No. Hockey wants to swim. Come on. You got your city chic look on. You can't swim. Cuenca is the third largest city in Ecuador. It is located in the southern highlands at about 2,500 meters above sea level, with an urban population of approximately 600,000 inhabitants in the larger metropolitan area. The center of the city is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its many historical buildings. Cuenca is also a large exporter of many different types of flowers to places such as the United States and many countries in Europe. And finally, it is known for having really good food, including a bit of a plant-based food movement. Very keen to check that out. Me too. Just to show you how cheap eating out can be, so that's lunch, $2, and that's a set lunch menu, including postre, which is a dessert as well. Not bad. Vistas? Yum, looking good. So Max just got a veggie sandwich. Not sure and, about the flowers. And this is a waffle made from yucca with just a bunch of veggies on top. He has decided to make himself right at home in the middle of the three tables up here. <laughs> he really can adapt to any environment. That dinner was delicious and very healthy, which is exactly what our bodies needed, especially after getting back to the Galapagos and eating a not lot more. Not the best. Not the healthiest food, so. We are retiring now, it's the sun's starting to go down, the city is starting to come alive. But everything in us. the city costs money. So I think we're gonna chill for Esta Noche and then mañana get back out into the city again. Yeah. Because we never wear jeans inside the van. I don't think anyone wears jeans inside the van. Back to our comfy clothes. Oh, yeah. It has been a long day and we are just going to take it easy for the rest of the evening here. We did mention earlier that we have Wi-Fi access in the parking lot, which is awesome because it is rare that we have great Wi-Fi access in the van. Whatever we do, we usually just take advantage and try to get in contact with our friends or family back at home, download some shows on Netflix or audiobooks or podcasts for the drive as we do have a lot of driving coming up ahead of us. We have mentioned before that whenever we do connect to Wi-Fi, we use a VPN, specifically Surfshark's VPN. The reason we do this is because it adds a layer of security, so when we're going on to our online banking or we're signing into accounts, there's no way that our information can get hacked or leaked or anything happening to it. So it's an extra layer of security, it essentially encrypts your information so that you can browse via public Wi-Fi safely. We love it since we've had it. 
we haven't really turned it off. We love Surfshark specifically because it's one app you can download on all your devices. So we have it on our computers, on my mini, and our phone. And as I said, we just leave it on all the time and we just don't worry about using anybody's internet. Another thing that we love about Surfshark is we are able to change our IP address, which means we trick our computer into thinking we are browsing the internet in different countries. It gives us access to more Netflix libraries as well as helps us find the absolute best deal when we're looking online for flights or any other things that we need. So for that reason, we have decided to become affiliates with Surfshark because we think it can really add value to you and your life if you're somebody that does use public Wi-Fi from time to time or just wants to see different shows on Netflix for paying the same price across the world, definitely check it out. We have a link in our bio under the code Aki, your favorite guy. You can get 83% off the rate as well as your first month for free. We know that a fair few of you did sign up last time, so please let us know in the comments how you like it. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment. We'll do our best to get back to you. And yeah, I think it's time for... Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Nine-Nine. And don't bother looking at Australian Netflix because it sucks. And with that, we are going to wrap it up. This has been a pretty typical day of van life in Ecuador. We have absolutely loved this country. And sadly, next week is going to be our last vlog here because we are moving on to Peru and we are so excited to bring you guys along with us. If you have enjoyed this journey and you do want to make sure you see all of our videos, it's really important to hit that notification bell because it's what actually tells you when our videos come out. We put out new videos every Sunday and yeah, we'll hope to see you guys next week. Lee, you want to add anything to that? Love you all. Thank you for your support and being a part of this journey with us. <laughs> Aki says the same. And thank you for all your kind words from last week. See you next week, guys. Bye. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, so am I supposed to look at the camera? Yeah. Go walk past it.